Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for um, the week of... No, this is your August bonus reading. And uh, you start with this time for nap card and this change in the wind card. So there could be some sort of change uh, coming in for you. We'll come back to this. My my uh, my top camera here died today. So um, yeah, typical retrograde, right? So I can't do the top down view. Uh, but there could be some sort of um, you know change that's coming in for you. And, uh, you know, again, I think that you are being led towards this change. You have the sun as your very first card. I'll show you in a second. Uh, and you also have the moon in the area of your past energy. So, you know, the past energy is the energy of what you are moving past. And I love readings that go from the moon to the sun. Uh, obviously, the other direction uh, isn't as good, but having the moon to the sun kind of says you're step you're actually stepping into um, you know a period of time of clarity or un new understanding or seeing through some sort of illusion in your life. And again, Mercury retrograde is a good time um, for seeing through the illusion because uh, during Mercury retrograde we can you know revisit things from the past or we can mentally process things. And usually that mental processing uh, can bring in actual clarity. You know, again, everybody thinks of retrogrades as a time of confusion or, you know, cameras dying or whatever the case may be. Uh, but really, it can be a card of, uh, you know, a time of clarity uh, because we can get answers to things that we've been through or we can just revisit things and kind of uh, perfect them or, you know, make things better or make the changes necessary uh, to get the clarity that we want. And I feel like that could be what's going on here. You have really good cards here. I mean, I, I would show you, but I can't. You have the world, the ace of swords, the six of wands, uh, even the page of pentacles here. So I think that you're heading in a good direction. And I feel like this retrograde uh, could be talking about a time of change or a time where you're entering, you know, I think the change that's happening is just you getting clarity. Again, you have the sun, and then right next to it, you have the Ace of Swords in the area of your very near future. And Ace of Swords is like a laser-like focus, being very, very focused on one thing. So, you know, again, I think that this is good. Uh, your crossing energy is the magician. Uh, the crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you in a Celtic cross. Uh, I think that you need to look at the tools that you are using uh, to, you know, get ahead in your life at this time. He has mastery over all the suits. He has, you know, all the suits in front of him here. And he needs to kind of like look at those uh, tools and he needs to make sure that he is using the right tool for the job. So whatever you are trying to accomplish, I think that you need, just need to kind of like look and see and make sure that you're using the right tool for the job. And if you do that, obviously that could lead to a lot of success. Uh, Mercury retrograde is a time of reinvention as well. And he has a snake wrapped around his waist right here. And the snake wrapped around his waist is the Ouroboros, which represents reinvention. So it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of you were kind of like reinventing yourselves or uh, changing yourselves for the better in some way. And it's a great time to work on that. Uh, in the area of what's on your mind, you have the world. Uh, some of you I literally feel could be thinking about moving. It wouldn't surprise me if a lot of you are thinking about moving, especially next year as well. You know, uh, when Jupiter moves into your fourth, you know, depending on when you were born, uh, for a lot of you might be moving into your fourth. And so I think that, you know, a lot of you could be thinking about moving or making a move. Um, and again, you could just be thinking about it at this time. It doesn't say that you have to do this right now. And you even have the Ace of Swords. Again, Ace of Swords is a thinking card card. So I think a lot of you could be thinking about changes that you want to make or moves that you want to make. It might not even be a move. It might just be you making a move. Like maybe you want a raise or promotion, or maybe you are thinking about uh, changing jobs, or maybe you're thinking about getting into a relationship, or, you know, it could be any change. Uh, but whatever it is, I feel, you know, the world is an accomplishment or a victory. Again, right after it, you know, in the, in the near future, you have the Ace of Swords, which would also be a victory. So there are clearly victories that you are thinking about having here. Uh, in the area of your foundation, you have the devil. I kind of feel like you're conquering the devil in this reading, um, especially I, I keep wanting to hit that overhead camera to show you, but you have you go to the Ace of Swords to the Six of Wands, right? And uh, I can't show you, but <laughs> what I would say is that I think a lot of you are maybe overcoming some to toxic energy. The other thing that I'm getting here is that for some of you, this retrograde could be really uncovering someone. You know, it's almost like I feel... Like, I, I don't really feel like saying the veil has been lifted, but I feel that maybe someone in your, from your past, it's like their true colors are coming out and you're seeing, you, like you're seeing it on display. And so, um, you know, again, you go from the devil up to the Ace of Swords, use your imagination here. And uh, I feel like that Ace of Swords 
can kind of say that the truth is coming out sometimes. And so I think that for some of you, if you have a past toxic person, that's what you could be getting the clarity on. And th again, this could be a good thing because it could be like finally setting you free or, you know, allowing you to finally move past a past person. It doesn't even have to be a person. Like this could be a situation or, um, you know, a job or a business. And it's like you're finally seeing how something has been sucking your energy dry and you're probably moving past it. Uh, in the area of what you're moving past in the past, you have this carp card. It says advantages, uh, keen mindedness, and longevity. And you have this meerkat. It says group dynamics, discussion, and effective leadership. So you have the moon as well, which I'll show you in a second. And I feel like the moon has maybe been making it kind of hard for you to see like where to take the lead in your life. Uh, this carp card also says longevity on it. And I feel like you uh, are definitely looking to work on things in life that have longevity. It's like you want to do the things uh, that will last for a long time, or you're hoping to you know, be able to uh, have work on the projects, the businesses, the whatever, uh, that can lead to long-term success. And so I feel like you are kind of switching from um, this right here, the moon, uh, sometimes with the moon, we can just be wandering around in the darkness. We can be um, very chaotic kind of in some ways, you know, in the sense that we don't know where we're going. And so the moon can represent a period of time where you have been wandering around in the darkness, kind of just poking around, see, just trying anything to get something to work. And so it's not like a very effective um, energy because it's like you don't know if you know let, let's just you you know and I'm speaking very generally here because I feel like this is very general Aries and it's like you don't know in work or business like what works and what doesn't work or even in relationships it's like maybe you feel like you've just been poking around um, you know trying anyone and it's like you you aren't sure um, what's good what's bad what's working what's not working and again, the beautiful thing about this reading, and probably the biggest change here is the Ace of Swords. Like I said, Ace of Swords is laser-like focus, being very, very focused on exactly what you want and exactly what's going to work and exactly what's going to make things move forward. So I think that, you know, this is coming up in the uh, area of your very near future. So this could be some sort of victory. We also have these uh, six golden yods on the side of the card here. And the yods kind of are in perfect balance on the Ace of Swords. So it represents uh, bringing your life into balance. Uh, the sword is also above the mountains. And I do feel like you could be overcoming like an obstacle or something that has been an obstacle for a long time. So that could be part of the victory that you're having. Uh, also, the two cards that you have here for the very near future are this money manager card. It says, expect positive financial changes in your life. Uh, that area of the sky, like you, Pisces, um, you know, you two signs have had, had really good financial energy for this um, this th this set of readings. And so there could be just positive financial changes. Um, you know, so if you have other energy, by the way, if you have like planets in Pisces and, you know, if you have planets in uh, more planets than just your sun in your sign, I think that this is going to be more expansive. It also says your hard work is now paying off. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. You also have this shift card. It says taking your career in a totally different direction. Uh, we were talking about this change in direction or, um, you know, making a move. So I think you're just kind of making moves in your career or in your work. And this is definitely going to improve your finances. I think that, you know, this has been coming, this basic energy has been coming up for you for quite a while. And so I think you're just doing things that are going to cause improvements and are also going to cause your money to grow or, you know, your, your position in life to grow, whichever, whichever it is. Uh, next in the area of the next few months, you have this Peacock's card. It says, let it shine. You have this B spirit says, sweet results await. Yeah, definitely getting better results in your life. I think you need to allow your own inner, you know, your inner light to shine with that Peacock spirit. But I think that you're getting better results. I do feel that over the next few months that you could be experiencing competition. Uh, the Five of Wands doesn't say stop though. You know, the Five of Wands, these people, they're using sticks to fight. They're not using swords. And I always say that the Five of Wands says that you're learning how to fight. You are learning how to deal with the things at, in your life as they come. And so I feel that you could be working very hard over the next few months, although, you know, based off these cards here, and we're going to clarify in a second, you know, it looks like this hard work is going to pay off. And But I would continue to learn from the competition and continue to educate yourself. And I feel like that, you know, I always feel like that is the trick with the five wands. It says, don't even take part in the competition. Just focus on yourself, right? We don't have to be competitive, right? We can just 
you know, focus on what we're doing, not worry about everybody else. And, you know, we can, but we can also learn from the competition and try new things or, you know, try to learn what they're doing and we can implement it ourselves without taking part in the competition and then we can rise above it. Uh, I can't switch cameras, but I was going to show you, you have the six wands in the area of your future feelings. So it's like you're feeling victorious in the future. Uh, next, in the area of your closest relationships, you have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles, of course, could be like a new person in love. It is coming up in the area of your closest relationships. So I kind of feel there could be a new person coming in for you here. Uh, I kind of feel like this could start as communication. You have the Ace of Swords right next to it. And so a lot of you could just be communicating with a person at first and then, you know, maybe over time it kind of like develops from there. Uh, but it does kind of just look like communication to start with the Page of Pentacles. Uh, this is also just a great card for doing anything new. So like I've been saying, if you're doing something new, this is very good. Uh, you have the Six of Wands in the area of your future feelings. So uh, feeling victorious, feeling successful, uh, being lifted up. I kind of feel like you're feeling like you were right, <laughs> you know, all along as well. Sometimes I feel with the Six of Wands, it's like you, you know, before you get this card, you've been telling people the things that you're going to do or the changes you're going to make. And now you have proven yourself right. And that's really kind of what I'm picking up on here with the Six of Wands. It's really all I get off of that card. Uh, for your outcome, you have the Two of Pentacles. Again, I feel pretty good about the Two of Pentacles. You know, there are some cards in the tarot that I call clue cards where it's like not, it's more of an intuitive meaning to me. And the Two of Pentacles to me sometimes I feel can represent a settlement, but it's like you're getting a settlement from the universe. You've been doing all this work. You've been doing all this stuff here. You've been standing out. And now the universe is kind of settling up with you, if that makes sense. And you're getting uh, the, fr the fruits of your labor. You know, I think this card here said your hard work is now paying off enjoy the fruits of your labor. So I think you're finally um, getting the results from your hard work. And that's what the Two of Pentacles is saying. You know, Two of Pentacles says work hard, play hard. So it says make sure to balance out your energies. But, you know, I will say that I feel like over the next few months, like I feel like it is going to be a very busy end of the year for you. Um, I would make sure to balance your energy. But at the same time, I think that you are getting results for the work that you're doing. So, you know, it's like, does it really matter um, if you're if you're putting energy? The way I look at it is if you're putting energy into something and you're getting energy out of it, um, then it doesn't. So then you are balancing the energy, if that makes sense because you're getting something out of it. It's only when we're working hard and not getting anything out of it that it becomes a problem and we need to balance it out. I would still go do fun things, right? I would still carve out some time for yourself with the Two of Pentacles, but I think, does it really matter in your reading? No, I don't think so. <laughs> That's what I feel. Uh, uh, we're gonna clarify. With the Magician and the Sun, you show up here, Aries. So whenever you show up as yourself, this puts you in a position of power and strength and it really allows you to get what you want from the reading. So I feel like you're just, you know, kind of showing up in a strong position here. You're just getting what you want from the reading, and, you know, that looks really good to me. So I have nothing else to say there. Uh, with the World card, you have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a victory or success coming in for you. So I feel for a lot of, and you have the Ace of Swords twice. With, you know, you have it with the World, and then you go to the Ace of Swords. Like, I think I literally said at the beginning that it's like you are thinking about these changes or a change or a move, making a move. Maybe that's a better way to put it, right? Uh, that you're thinking about making some sort of move in your life. And, um, you know, I think these big moves are going to bring in big changes. Uh, with the devil, you have the nine of cups. I keep seeing, it's almost like, this is going to sound silly, but it's it's almost like if you've been dealing with a person, they've been covered in a blanket. You know, I wanted to say lifting the veil, but I didn't really feel like that was right. You know, I didn't feel like that was the correct um, wording to use. And I feel that it's almost like you've been dealing with a person who's covered in a blanket. And maybe that makes more sense because, you know, a veil would be thin. A blanket is very thick. And it's almost like this person is thick and, you know, their head is thick. And they've also, um, you know, I think they have a lot of hidden um, things that they haven't been revealing. I think that the Nine of Cups is saying that you have decided that your own happiness is more important. And so you're, you could be removing yourself from something um, that is stealing your energy. Again, these are two totally opposite energies. You know, the devil is like an energy vampire. It sucks energy away from you. The Nine of Cups is about bathing in the energy of, that you want and like really soaking up the energy. So they're kind of like opposites in a, in a way. And I feel the Nine of Cups is saying you're getting back to that place where uh, you can be in the energy or you are in the energy of something that you want uh, so that you can be more successful. So that looks really good. Uh, with the Moon card, you have the Six of Pentacles. 
I feel that the moon with the six of pentacles could say that, you know, you feel that there are certain, um, you know, situations or maybe it's a position in your life that has been stealing energy from you. Again, six of pentacles is kind of not getting enough. You know, it's breadcrumbing. <coughs> Excuse me. So I think that in your life, you know, the moon could be a period where it's like you've just not been getting your what you put into things and now you're leaving that period of time behind and entering into a time where you are getting what you want. Uh, with the Ace of Swords, you have the Page of Swords. Um, Page of Swords is about curiosity. Uh, whenever I have something like this in a reading, uh, this tells me that you have either recently or over, over the past few months, like you've gotten a taste of the good life. And sometimes I think when we get like a little, uh, a little glimpse of the good life, or you know, sometimes I think we see something uh, that really motivates us to success, and it's just like it's kind of like the muse, right? It's like the thing we use to make us successful. And I don't really have any good examples, but maybe it's like a car, right? Or maybe um, you see a person who's dumber than you, <laughs> who's really successful doing what you do for work or business. And you're like, I can do that, you know? And I kind of get that here where it's like, you've seen something and it that has made something else possible for you, you know? And I kind of get that feeling here. Um, I hope that makes sense. I feel like the Page of Swords is saying, follow your curiosity. You know, if, if something made you curious, move towards it. Uh, with the Five of Wands, you have the Temperance card. Um, I feel like this is saying like, it's almost like saying, again, don't uh, take part in the competition. The Temperance card, you know, uh, I'm ca I'm kind of getting weird messages for you today, Aries, but, you know, he has this path behind him, and this is the path to glory, and there's this glowing crown in the background, but he could just get onto that path and go and get that crown. There's there's no reason for him to take part in this competition, for example, right? And so in your reading, I feel like this is saying that, yeah, there, like, there could be some sort of competition that you're dealing with, or there could be a group of people uh, that you're dealing with, but it's almost like you could skip past it. And you know what the problem I find with competition is? Is what happens is sometimes people become successful doing something, right? Whatever it is. And they kind of lay out this um, this framework for how they became successful. So then everybody else jumps on and they, they try to follow that same framework, um, you know, the, basically the path that that person took to get success. So everybody does the same thing. But it's like sometimes I think we can like skip steps or, you know, we can... Um, you know, it's almost like we can do it in our own way. It's like you will only be successful in your own way, right? And so I think that for a lot of you, this is saying that, yeah, you can, you know, use competition um, as kind of like a guidance system or you can try some of the things to see what works. But there might be like other ideas you have for your business or your career that might work better. But the only reason you're saying that it wouldn't work is because you're basing it off of someone else's framework for success. And again, there's nothing wrong with using a framework for success. But, you know, it's like I, I I see this all the time. You know, I, I talk about this a lot because, <laughs> you know, I see it on YouTube a lot where it's like a YouTuber will become successful and then everybody tries to do exactly what that person is doing, but they're never ever really, they never reach the heights that that person, you know, the original person did. And it's because it's like, you really don't know what that person did ultimately. It's like, yeah, you can see some of the steps. And I'm spending a lot of time on this because I think someone needs to hear it. <laughs> I think that one of you at least needs to hear that, like, you know, doing it your own way will make you more successful. Uh, with the Page of Pentacles, you have the Four Swords. I feel like a lot of you are just in this kind of like, uh, um, what's the word I want to use? Receptive mode. You know, it's like you're not really making any big moves to attract a person into your life. I feel like you will move. You will make a move if um, someone approaches you or whatever. But I kind of feel you're more in this receptive mode type of energy, which probably good. Uh, with the Six of Wands, you have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like everybody is seeing you as being successful. Queen of Swords is about seeing things clearly for the first time. So it's almost as if, um, you know, people are finally seeing your success with that card. Uh, with the Two of Pentacles, you have the Moon. And so probably, uh, I can't, I almost just tried to switch again. But with the Two of Pentacles and the Moon card, it's probably the fact that you're finally getting the results of your hard work, you know, or you're getting the fruits of your labor um, with that, uh, whatever this card said. I don't even know. Uh, this card said money manager. So you're getting the fruits of your hard work for the uh, the moon in the first place. But I also feel you're getting clarity. Uh, you have this intuition card. Yeah, very intuitive time. So I think it's a great time to trust your intuition or um, to listen to your intuition with that intuition card. Uh, you have this affair card. I, I do feel there's love coming in for you like this year if you don't have it. So, you know, I would, you know, even though 
I said that you're in receptive mode, people still have to know you exist. So you can't be in receptive mode on your couch doing nothing. Uh, you have to still put yourself out there in some way. I just think that you're not, it's, it's like, you know, if it, I, I think it's more saying that you're not going to over invest in something. So like I said, I would put yourself out there. Definitely could be love. Uh, you have this inheritance card, two of pentacles. I'm telling you right now, I, I, I don't think this is talking about an inheritance. I think that this is talking about the fruits of your labor, your hard work paying off. That two of pentacles said settlement to me. So I feel like the settlement you're receiving, I mean, it could be legal, but I really feel that you are settling up with the universe. It's like you've been planting all these seeds in the past with that moon and the six of pentacles. Uh, you really haven't been getting results, but Really, actually, I feel like you have been getting results. You just haven't seen them yet. And I feel what the reading is trying to say is that your, your hard work is paying off. Uh, you have this status card. Yeah, if you are attracting a person, you know, this is my fancy couple card. I think you have this card with me in your last reading as well. So you definitely could be attracting like a, a new fancy person or, you know, whatever you want to call it. So that looks good. And uh, finally, you have this power card. I feel like people are seeing you're powerful. Remember what I said on the six wands. I think people are seeing that. Um, you know, people in your life, it's like you told people you were go going to do something, and now you are. So there you go. Love it, Aries. This is a very good reading. So thank you for being here, and definitely enjoy your